We are working on the letter W. Yeah. Like this. Whoa! Does that make the letter W? Yeah. And the weather that affects the letter W has been so crazy lately because it's springtime that we are going over some words that start with the letter W that deal with weather. Right? What we're gonna do is we're gonna figure out which Wait, hold on. Wait a second. We're gonna figure out which word starts with the letter W. And we're gonna punch it in, and then hopefully there'll be a surprise there, right? Yeah. Okay. So we have the word wa weather. Which word starts with the letter W? Oh, forecast. Forecast starts with the letter. Is that the letter W? Yeah. Try again. What letter is this? And this is the letter. Okay, you want to try punching it in? Oh, wow! Look, you got m and Look at that reward. All right. So, weather started with the letter? We have the word air and water. Okay, so this starts with the letter what, Kaden? The letter A. a. Air starts with the letter A. And wa wa water starts with the letter W. Alright. Mason, do you want to punch it this time? I can punch it. I don't have one. Okay. Ooh, what's inside? <gasps> Chocolate! Okay. You can, but we already figured out the answer. Go ahead, punch it. All right, guys, we have the, the word warm and the word cold. Cold starts with the letter C. Warm starts with the letter All right, so which one do we punch in? What's inside? Ooh, is this one for Mason since you got the last one? So we have winter and spring. These are different seasons, and these different seasons have different weather. Okay, so spring starts with the letter. What letter is that? S. And winter starts with the letter W. Oh, what's inside? More chocolate! Want to do spring? No! Empty! All right, here are our next two. Weather words. We have the word dry and what's opposite of dry? Wet. Uh oh. Do we think the, the dry starts with the letter W? No. No. You could surely try, but there isn't going to be anything in there, is there? Go ahead. <gasps> Empty. Because dry doesn't start with the letter W. Is there something inside? More m &Ms. We have rain and wind. These are two different things that happen when we have different types of weather. Usually a storm. It will rain and it'll be windy. Just like yesterday. Do you remember yesterday? It was so windy and rainy. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the word rain. R oh, rain. There were worms. What letter does the word worm start with? W. Right. Oh, he's gonna go for it. Rain. Yes. Rain. Rain. Well, it looks like the word wind starts with the letter W because that's where the word was. Rain. That's it. That's all of it, guys. All right. So, are we gonna go over all of our weather words? Air and water. We had weather and had wet and dry, spring and winter, rain and wind, and warm and cold. Those were all of our words, right? And we got 
all the chocolate and words that started with the letter Ooh. W. And then. I'm going to play in the water. Water starts with the letter W. It's me, Rexy, ready to learn about dinosaur facts. I hear you guys are learning about weather, so I thought we should talk about the weather, what it was like back when the dinosaurs lived. During the Triassic period, all prehistoric land was part of one landmass called Pangaea. I love rain. The climate was hot and dry and covered with deserts until Pangaea slowly began to break into two with Laurasia in the north and Gondwana in the south. There were large bodies of water between the land masses, which caused for more rainfall. Increases in rainfall caused for greater amounts of plants and vegetation, which in turn helped large leaf-eating dinosaurs like Brachiosaurus to be able to evolve to be so large. If you go to a rainforest, it will give you an idea of what the weather was like in the tropic regions during the dinosaurs. Well, you well, Roar! Okay, so we were talking about the weather. It would be easy to go on an adventure if it's a nice sunny, dry day, but it's rainy, cloudy, and wet today, right? And we're gonna go explore and see what we can find on a day like today. What are we? What are we gonna find on a wet, rainy, cloudy, windy? It's windy. Are we gonna find puddles? Yeah. Yeah. All right, you guys gonna come along with us? Yeah. All right, let's go explore the weather. Yeah. Oh, look at all those worms in this puddle. You probably just like drag your hand in there and get a whole bunch. Did your mom try? Uh. Whoa! Look at those wormies in your hand. And I said, ah, kill your eyes. What letter the word worm starts with? Wuh, wuh, wuh. W. There's a lot of worms. Should we keep going? We're out in the rain and the wind in this wet weather, right? We're in the rain and the wind and the wet weather. So yeah, is it is it raining on our heads? And what do we find in the puddles? Worms. We find worms, and the worms come out when the ground is all saturated because they are in the ground and they need air. So they come out when the ground is filled with water. And that's why we see that when it rains, there's a lot of worms on the ground. So we saw a lot of worms. And now we found this wonderful, that's another W word, wonderful puddle. Mud puddle. We got a little break from the rain, so we're gonna take a break and play a little bit. Careful not to get your foot stuck in there. Look at that. Squishy, 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 squishy. Oh, wow, we. It's perfect mud pie mud. Maybe a little bit moist, but it's pretty cool. Do you like that mud, Kaden? <laughs> Do you get your, your boots all dirty? Mm. Dirty boots. Ah. Wow, this is perfect mud pie mud. Okay, let me show you. Look, check this out. Look at that. Ooh, and there's a little buddy in there. I know. Oh. Look, I'm making mud pies and Mason's worried about his hands being dirty. You know, this would be a perfect mud to try to use to 
like make a hut. Because they, they used to use, and some, some places still do it, they use the wet mud like this, and then they mix it with other sediments and other materials, and then they use it to build a house. A mud hut. Right? A mud hut. You jump back to the side. Come on, you can do it. Jump back to the Oh! <laughs> Alright, we want to thank you for joining us on this adventure as we discovered weather. We're going to hang out and have more fun with this puddle. This mud. And in a little bit, I think we're going to have to make our way back to the dry, dry house so that we're not stuck out here in me. All right, thanks for joining us. Say bye. 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 You get out and enjoy the weather and explore the different types of weather there is. <laughs>